Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one's on Live Paint Bucket and the Live Paint Selection tool. These are the two icons. This one is the Live Paint Bucket. This one is the Live Paint Selection tool. You can find these in your uh, toolbar if you hover over the Shape Builder tool and click and hold. You'll see the shortcut for Live Paint Bucket is K and the shortcut for Live Paint Selection tool is Shift and L. These two tools basically help you color in illustrations quicker. There's lots of different ways to do it. You can use the uh, selection tool, which is V, or you can use direct selection, and you can select each shape, and you can go over to your swatches and hit a color, and you can do another selection and hit another color, and you can keep going like that. However, this option lets you do it a little bit quicker. So if you've got your swatches sorted and your colors are already in there, I've gone ahead and drawn some shapes. If you just want to draw some shapes as well, you can draw circles, anything overlapping um, with a stroke or solid, it's it's up to you. But these are the shapes I'm going to use here. So I've just done some three squares. They're overlapping. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to hit K, which is the shortcut for the live paint bucket. It's come up here. And you can see my cursors change to have these three little squares. The middle one is there's no color. If I use the left and right cursors, I can go to the green one. And you can see, if you look over on the swatches, as I use left and right, it's just cycling through the colors there. So if I pick, let's say, purple, and click this one, it colors it in purple. If I hit right and hit the red, select a different shape, colors it red. Same principle applies with the stroke. You might need to hit enter to see the live paint bucket options because I've got paint fills and paint strokes ticked. So have a look at your options, make sure paint strokes are ticked. If they are, when you hover over the stroke, it's difficult to see sometimes when you hover over the stroke, um, you can see a paintbrush. I had the crosshairs on there. If you press caps lock, it changes that slightly to go from a paint bucket um, to a crosshair. So. If I go to the paintbrush, you can see it changed from bucket to brush stroke. And then if I cycle with the left and right, I can pick a different stroke color. Let's pick something contrasting green. And then I just click it. It's the tip of the paintbrush. So then it will flick automatically between the bucket and the paintbrush. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to do, but that's how you do the strokes as well. Another element to this is gap selection. So if you've drawn something with a brush uh, or a pen tool and you've missed uh, a little connector, if I go to fill this in, it wouldn't fill it in. So if I go up to options, uh, object, live paint and gap options and make sure I've got gap detection ticked and paint stops at large gap. Now it says large gaps, it, it doesn't, we can do custom gaps and make them as big as we want. So we'll, we'll do large gaps for now, because I've checked this and it does work. But if you want bigger gaps, then you can customize the gap width. So with this selected, it does recognize this shape, this as a shape. So I can go ahead and do what I did before there. So moving on to the next tool, live paint selection tool. We're gonna select that from, from just under the bucket. You can do shift L as a shortcut. Once I've got that tool selected, it, it's like the direct select tool. So it's like using V as the select tool or A as your direct select tool. So you can see as I hover over these, I can select the stroke. It's quite difficult to select the stroke. You can see it's done it, but obviously I need to then flick between the two to make them the same. I don't have much use for the live paint selection tool. I think the live paint bucket's so good that you can do what you need to do with it, but that's how you use it anyway. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.